everybody, it's Dr. Rick dropping in on you. Um, hope everybody's had a good day. I'm not going to go into a whole long spiel. I want to get exactly to the point. Um, show some love and support for the work we do at the Odyssey Project. Got that out the way. Look, let me be very clear here. Uh, I'm about truth. I'm about black love. I'm about black family. I'm about black marriage. Anybody that knows me knows that. Anybody that knows me knows that I cut hard for our black sisters. I am steady on our brothers about being what it is. Anybody that knows me at the cigar shop, they know there's certain conversations they can't have with me sitting there. And so when I sit up and I say something that holds my sisters accountable, I believe I have a right to do so because I'm not coming from a place of judgment. I'm not coming from a place of blame. I'm not coming saying it's all black women. Everything is black women's fault. I see cats with that weak shit and I call them on it, right? I call them on uh, femicide. I call them on intimate partner violence. I call them on not being pro-social and responsible in the community. I'm steady on brothers. The whole black man lead thing is about making sure we prepare our men to be better men to our women. And I, with, with eight daughters, you got to understand that I want to see a better pool of black males out there because I've got daughters, I've got granddaughters, I've got and 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 so and I've got nieces and 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 and, and their children. And so I'm looking at all of that, right? But let me explain something to you, sisters. If you come for me, personally come, what's you, your 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 input and is welcome. On, on, on my channel, on my pages. I'm not and have ever, have never been the person that demands you agree with me or I'm blocking you or I'm still, I got people I know that don't really feel me on a number of social media platforms. And as long as they don't disrespect me or disrespect anyone else on my page, on my profile, on my channel, uh, hey, it's all good. I ain't got time for that emotional, immature, trying to make everybody like me, make everybody agree with me. I'm about being respectful. I'm about being uh, focused. I'm about being consistent in my message. But let me tell you something. The last thing black women need is to be coddled. Black women need to be loved. Black women need to be respected. Black women need to be appreciated. But the last thing you need to be coddled because when you get coddled, you start to believe this idea that everything is against you and you have no culpability. I've had several people ask, what culpability do black women have? Well, to actually, one, let, me, let me explain something a little differently. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose some subscribers. I'm gonna have some people mad. I'm gonna speak the truth in love I'm gonna love on you. You don't have to love on me. You don't have to like me. You don't have to be on my channel, but I'm not gonna sit up and I'm not becoming uh, Kevin Samuels and I'm damn sure not becoming Derek Jackson. I'm gonna tell you the truth. The truth is there's a bunch of shady cats out there that will use you up. They out there. It's a bunch of useless ass cats. It's real. But there's some real dudes out there trying their best to be the best they can be. You know what those real good dudes get? They get what they're complaining about that nobody hears. They get the, the, the baby mama that won't let them see the kids. They're const constantly lectured to about why they're not fighting for their child. Why in the hell should they have to fight for them in the first place? Nobody's checking the sisters on that. Sisters, you should be checking these women on that. 80-something percent. I think 87%, if I'm not mistaken, of divorces are filed by women. Now, granted, some niggas out there, excuse me, doing some horrible-ass bullshit. Some of them deserve to get left. A lot of shit is on weak BS. Nobody's committed. 87% of divorces filed by women, and they take it half. They didn't come with half, but they take it half. They taking the kids, which means they're going to get more than half. And then the, they're going to have primary control. You don't think 
that plays into a man's psyche. You want to know why the uh, more mature and more affluent black man isn't getting married? Because he's taking measurements now. He's seeing how the system plays him. He sit up and look what's at. What am I getting at? Instead of looking at whose fault it is, we need to be asking ourselves how to solve the problem because disunity is the very thing that has been uh, a focal point of our opposition. They know that if they can keep us separated, they can keep us at bay. They understand that if we come together and we unite, if we start to build for strong families, we'll go back to the direction and the path we were on before we sold out for integration. They understand that. We don't understand the mechanisms and the machinations in play that are holding us back. But when you send me an email telling me how disappointed you are that I'm just like every other black man, that's the problem. Every other black man. So every freaking black man, something's wrong. With, well, first of all, it's something wrong with everybody. Nobody's out there that has gotten through life unscathed. Everybody's packing some baggage. The thing is, when you meet somebody, you're looking for somebody that's worked on healing, that's worked on getting themselves better, that has released the toxicity of their pain, that is not carrying a grudge that they're bringing into the relationship. And then you need to make sure that you've done the same. And a bunch of other things I can't get into it all right now But that's what you look at But ain't nobody coming in But let me tell you something The idea that it's all anybody's fault I, I'm telling you Ladies the same thing I tell black men When I hear them talking about It's the black woman The black woman It's the single No It's the fact that we are Where we're at right now Because we made decisions That as men we shouldn't have made Black women took directions in in, in, in in advancement of social social so social moves that I cannot get into, but if you want to, read Born in Captivity. I'm telling you what the numbers say. Forget what you feel. That's the problem. We're being led by our emotions. We get so damn caught up in our emotions, we make decisions without critical thought, and it leads to more pain, more frustration, more di disruption. Let me tell you something disagree with me if you notice i don't spend a whole lot of time on these comment sections i'm not there trying to convince people i put the facts down you want to know where i'm getting it from i've put it in books i've put it in thousands of articles it's out there research it i put it in thousands of videos it's out there research it look for it double check it bounce back come back and see me if you find something with in, 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 in research and in data that disproves something I said and I will retract. I have done it before. I am not perfect, I don't know everything, I don't have all the information, but I guarantee you, you're not gonna find five people on this planet that has read more than me, studied more than me, that's wrote more than me on the topic. So I can speak on it from, a, from an educated position because I've educated myself. Doesn't mean I'm perfect, doesn't mean I know everything. It just means that I have earned the right to speak on it. And when you talk, I'm literally sitting up in meetings, headed into a meeting right now at the cigar shop about building more housing. Now, it's not just for women, but a big portion of it, domestic violence. Literally have a relationship uh, with a newly elected judge who's a former attorney and friend, who's a newly elected judge that's going to send a certain amount of domestic violence cases our way. We are going to make sure they're housed. We're gonna make sure they get mental health services, which will probably uh, be managed and facilitated through me. Uh, this is gonna happen for addiction as well. It's gonna also happen for mental health, male and female. These are the things we're doing. And as hard as I've gone in the paint, my first book is full of nothing but caping and fighting for black women the single mom because I was the I, I, I was a child who never knew his father the invisible father reversing the curse of a fatherless generation isn't just about the child it's about the lady it's about men standing up and I have preached a consistent message of black men standing up and being what we're supposed to be I demanded of the people in my circle I have walked it out and even in the midst of what I went through this year I've stood strong and I've been kind and I've been loving and I demanded of the people around me I go hard in the paint for my sisters 
but I'm not going to tell you you're perfect. I'm not going to tell you that there aren't, that's no couple bill. I'm not going to tell you that some of the stuff I see you guys doing when you get upset or when you, and talking about cheating, y'all could cheat with the best of them. And everybody's going to say, well, you know, it's because this happened to me. At some point as an adult, you've got to look at what happened to you and determine what kind of person you're going to be. That's for men and women. you got to determine what type of person you're going to be. Are you going to let what happened to you make you like the people who did it to you? Or are you going to sit up and say, I'm going to heal? I'm going to stay away from this until I get my stuff together. I'm going to heal. I'm going to become better so that I select better. I'm going to become better so that my energy alerts me. The better you are, the more healed you are, the better your intuition. You have a spiritual intuition. This is something the person that emailed couldn't understand because I said, make better choices. Well, if you are study saying I can't make better choices, then there's something there that you need to deal with with you. And ain't nothing going to change that. That's not gaslighting. That's the truth. I tell that to my male clients. I tell it to my female clients. When you have a string of bad situations in your life that are not in any way directly connected. In other words, having issues with your family could be a family conglomerate issue that just... Uh, you know, translates to multiple people. But when you got situations where you've had several uh, platonic friends, four or five platonic friends, and it all ends the same way, it's always the same story, they all did the same thing. You had six and seven and eight relationships with men. They all end the same way, it's always that, and it's always everybody else's fault. No, no, no. That's only one common denominator in all of that shit. One, and it's you. I'm not saying you haven't gone through something. I'm not saying that that black women are what, six times more likely to be molested as a child. But guess who's one of the people who's been dealing with that and championing that before it was popular to champion it? I've been doing that shit for over 20 years talking about what black women have went through. But let me tell you something, black women, in that that you've been through, do you realize one in six, one in five black men have been through the same stuff, molested as children? We some messed up people. People who are messed up do messed up stuff until they figure out how to get rid of the mess. Blaming the other side and pretending that that victim mentality release, re, causes you to relinquish. You can't be a victim and have power at the same time. The moment you point the finger, the wherever you point the finger has the power. That's why so many are still waiting on apologies. Because you still point the finger. Fuck the apology. That piece of shit. What's crazy? You don't want to what's crazy? They might have been a piece of shit when they did it to you. Something happened along the way. They had a wake-up call. They changed their life. You still mad. You still carrying the toxicity of your pain. They've changed. Their lives have elevated. You are literally literally allowing somebody who's bettered their lives destroy yours from a past decision sometimes you've got to accept that people don't know how to say i'm sorry people don't know how to make amends but you can't keep care because this is what happens you carry the grudge from the last relationship into the next relationship you're abrasive and you don't realize it you're untrusting and you don't realize it you are naturally combative and you don't realize it because you are acting from a traumatic memory. You are literally being triggered and you don't realize it. And that person wondering, what the hell did I do? And eventually they get uh, uh, snappy, they get edgy, and then you got all this bickering or they just sit up and say, shit, it ain't no peace at home. I'm gonna go over here. I ain't justifying the BS that they're doing. What I'm saying is we can't keep doing this to one another. I lecture the men far enough that when I tell the, tell the women, hey, we got to do better. And the crazy thing is the video that triggered this person, and it's been a few, so it's not this person, but I'm just talking about the most recent. The video that triggered the person was actually a 30-minute video of me going in on men about doing better because of a situation where this dude had killed uh, his girlfriend, her mom, and uh, some other stuff. And at the end, I said, and sisters, we've got to choose better. And out of that, all of that accusation came. 
And I sit on it for a while and I thought about it for a while. Then I'm sitting up and I'm looking at it and then I saw another post. And I'm going, nobody ever gets anywhere when it's everybody else's fault. I'm telling you now, I've had some pain this year. It's not everybody else's fault. I'm a good dude. Damn good husband. Love my children. I'm not perfect. I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to hit you. I'm not going to. I don't raise my voice. I'm not going to. I'm rarely going to argue with you. It gets nowhere. I'm going to be that person like. And, 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 and you probably. So you ain't got nothing to say? No, not right now because it's just an argument. I don't want to argue. I love you too much to argue with you. You want to talk. You want to work it out. Yeah. You know, sometimes you get caught up in the moment, but I'm never going to be mean. I'm never going to mistreat. I'm never going to. That's not who I am. But I'm not perfect. No, no. I've got stuff I'm still working on. So I'm not going to sit up there and point fingers at nobody. We got to do better. Period. On that note, look, I'm out of here. If you believe in the work I do, <laughs> show some love. We definitely need it. Like I said, we are trying to do some major stuff. Not just here in Houston, but across the nation. But definitely some major, several different housing units for less fortunate people who are going through very trying times and need a solid place to land to recover and we are going to give it to them um, show some love show some support but sisters you 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 gotta know the 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 the, 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 the what 12 years i've been on social media and the 20 years before that that i've gone hard in the pain for you guys you know respect that you don't have to agree with me on everything I say because there's going to be some time I'm going to be speaking some things you're probably not going to like what I say but don't try to pass me off as some person that's handling y'all I catch so much flack from my brothers I done been called a simp so much that if this was 20 years ago I'd be in a caught a case by now because cats get real bold behind keyboards And, you know, I'm a, I haven't always had them credentials. But shit, hell, when I had them, I, I, let's just say I've taken a lot to show love to my sisters from my brothers because they felt like it was imbalanced. And the reason it is imbalanced is because I'm a man. So, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I want the men to man up. I'm a man. I'm hard on my sons. I'm strict on all. But I'm demanding because you, you, you want to be the leader. You want to call yourself the king. You want to say you're the head. Some shit come with that. You don't just get to say it. You got to walk in it. Sometimes walking it, that's hell. Sometimes walking, you get blamed for every damn thing. Sometimes walking it, you're not the one screwing up, but you're the one fixing it. That's the shit men do. So don't tell me I'm not going hard on the men or that I'm, I'm, I'm tripping. No, I'm telling the truth. We got a lot of stuff going on that we need to clean up, period. And it's enough culpability to go around. If you don't believe you're culpable, you don't like what I'm saying, you can click the uh, unsubscribe button. It's okay. It's, it's really okay. But you're not going to bully me in to coddling you. I'm going to love the hell out of you black men and black women will go to the mat for you you need to talk to some of the people that I don't went to their school districts and dealt with their superintendents about stuff that's going on in their schools how many times I've talked to principals how many times I've wrote letters to universities I'm about that I'm not sitting up just talking but just understand I'm that dude you ain't gonna come at me any kind of way and I'm just gonna sit there and take it I, I was a little rough I wasn't disrespectful and I wasn't hateful, but I was straightforward. You're not going to bring all your trash and dump it on my front door and expect me to pick it up. I'm going to tell you it's your trash. 
You don't have to like me. You don't have to love me. You don't have to do anything. But if you're going to deal with me, you're going to respect me or you won't get to deal with me. I'm good with it. And I'm going to meet aggression with equal aggression. I promise you that. On that note, man, I'm out of here. Peace.